I have some good deals that I got from like everywhere and a story time to tell you about a, a nightmare and a project that I can no longer work on. I had such high hopes and plans for this project. I'm going to be trying to make um, uh, remake dolls uh, with the same face mold or buy dolls naked and recreate their outfits. And those would be, you know, more expensive dolls. That would be Barbie Looks, uh, BMR 1959, and Barbie Extra. I do have the Barbie Extra to work on. I do not know if this doll with this particular face mold is the same face mold as any other doll. So I will not be making anything with her. But she was such a good price. She was almost $3 off and she was already a good price before that. So she became like $11 plus tax. So she was probably about 12 I paid 18 for two dolls. And that doll also is going to be part of another project. One of the projects I had to X out because the seller canceled my order. Um... I don't know why I was kind of a little upset about that because they went up for sale again. And it's not like he'd, he or she is making any more money because they put it at the same price. So that was on Macari. Um, I do did buy all the clothes for that, um, that project. I probably wouldn't have bought all those clothes if I found would have known that I wasn't going to end up making that project. I don't want to reorder because they might just do it again. So they'll probably cancel again. It was a BMR 1959 girl head and a looks Ken together for 35 I was immediately refunded that because um, the seller never got the money. You do not get the money until you're rated on Macari. Oh, she is really cute despite her lip issue. Okay, so I ordered this from Macari and I will link the seller down below. She actually paid a little more for shipping than I did for the item. And I didn't know the baby came with it. This is a little, just little baby playpen thing. I think it's really cute. I think she did a really good job on it. She also has like Barbie baby bumps. I'm not so into the Audi Barbie baby bump, but if she does another with an any belly button, I'll probably end up buying that because they're a lot larger than the ones I've been able to buy online from AliExpress Macari and eBay. It's super cute and the baby is so super cute. She does have some dolls available that are pretty nice and for a very reasonable price. So I will link her down below. I will also check out her store to making sure there's nothing I absolutely have to have before I link everything. I always do that though. Now I I bought this. I was off, I think I was offered two dollars off, so it was eight plus shipping. The shipping wasn't very much, so it was around um, twelve dollars, which um, for what I got is actually a really good price. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over my allergies. Kind of sick. So I'm just going to show you in the bag, in the basic bags what I got, but I'm going to do a full try on after so that you can see everything that I got in the way it should be seen. This is really hard to do one handed. My camera is broken. It has to be plugged in all the time. So it's really been hard to film lately. I need to buy a new one, but... I want to stick with the SE, just a newer model of the SE, because I like the fingerprint thing where I can just open it with my fingerprint. Okay, this is a story time as well. I bought a messed up Ken from Amazon, and I, just, I didn't want to buy and send him back 
because then you you get more issues. So I contacted um, Mattel because it wasn't a shipping issue th that time. It was just the doll was a little bit defected. He had some marks on his arms that I haven't been able to fix yet. But they sent me this doll. So I got a free doll from Mattel. And I actually have a couple more coming because it seems every time I buy from Amazon, they send me something slightly defective. And when you're paying full price for something, you don't want to buy it effective. If you're paying, um, buying a used doll that's broken, that's fine. I, because I like fixing things up and I like doing crafts, but the ones with the marks on the hands, the only thing that you can do is really tattoos. And I'm not that good at that. His eyes are slightly messed up. He's got a defect on his neck, but overall he's fine. He's sparkly. Why is he sparkly? Because the other dolls are not. Now, I have about a billion of these now. Of course, I'm exaggerating. I've actually lost count. I think I have five plus two fakes. Yeah, I think. Now, he has blue eyes. He's got the... And he doesn't have that defect. But he's got blue eyes. He has brown. I'm going to have to look more closely at all the ones that I have because I'm pretty sure that the three I have all have brown eyes but he has blue and the broad blonde that I have has blue eyes as well and he's a little more fair. I also have a blonde fake and a gray fake which could pass as family members as well. If it, I was doing a video with entire family, well, I have a lot and they all look alike. That would get confusing. You could rebody these. They are, I do like that mold. And now for all the, the um, try on portion, of course, um, um, in here is the outfit that I was going to uh, recreate the doll of. I'm not going to tell you in case I can eventually recreate that doll, but I probably won't be able to now. Adorable baby Emma. Subscribe if you like watching adorable bunnies who don't actually say anything in the movie at all. <coughs> and beautiful shoulder devils. How do you know I'm not evil too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shoulder angel. I better go. Do what's right <laughs> and subscribe because that's right. Uh, apparently okay. not. Do you have a situation? Yeah. Do what is right. I 